How's it going guys? Welcome back to another episode here. We have a few more update recent games in comparison to the last week's series we had there that I showed you my chess career and how I got to where I am at the moment. Um, I've been taking off with uh, Blitz, so it is playing a few five minute games, trying to get the rating up there and it helps you with the faster thinking, uh, get your mind going a wee bit more and you know, you're going to make a lot more mistakes. And I do. I'm not winning all my games. I just played a few here before this recording session. And it did not go well at all. But these are games from earlier today on 22nd that I did play. And we have an amazing yo-yo technique. If you know, you know. If you don't, you will. Just watch it. You will want to get this into your game so badly. And we're going to start off with that game right now. So... It starts off, I am currently 666 rating, or I believe I was at the time of recording this. Played someone a bit lower, uh, but with uh, Blitz, it is Blitz isn't it? You lose, your rating fluctuates a lot more, so it does. Well I find, it does for me anyway. So we'll immediately get into it. I have been trying this new opening, the Queen's Pawn Accelerated London. I've been, I studied a wee bit on Gotham's course and yeah his course you have this kind of setup uh but i've never <laughs> i haven't had that once in the entire time me playing this i haven't had it once i've currently only played it 12 times uh with a uh, eight wins four losses so it's not terrible but that's definitely going to change so this is setup we have uh he has his bishop and his knight out pawn in the center we have our bishop two pawns and we develop our second bishop i know that you should get your knights out before your bishop but Obviously, he was attacking her queen, and I didn't want to sacrifice the root, no, the knight, and then ruin the pawn structure. So, game continued. He wanted to go for the trade immediately. That's fine. He throws his pawn in the center. We then develop our knight, getting ready to castle. He gives us a check, which is petty. So, we just block it with a pawn. If you're going to give a check, make sure it cannot be blocked with a pawn. And, you know, your piece attacked. So, he retreats. We then continue to develop our other knight. We throw our knight in the centre. We have so much centre control here at the minute. A lot of dark squared um, uh, pawns. Our knight is on dark square, looking at light squares. And our dark squared bishop is out. So it, it doesn't complement itself. The fact we've lost our light squared bishop. And all our pawns are on dark squares. But we continue here. Now this pawn push. Here currently we have a 3.1 lead advantage. Uh, apparently castling was a mistake but this pawn push throws it all the way down to 0 0.3 the reason I did this pawn push was to get this pin uh, on his knight and then you know it's, a, it's just a massive weakness so he throws his knight in the centre we do capture the knight he captures back with a pawn we go for that now it's not a check and yes he blocks it with the pawn which is something I said not to do and now our pieces are forked in the centre so we retreat the bishop, which is a blunder, okay, and he capitalises, he gets the um, knight, now apparently knight captures c6, this was the best move for quite a bit, ruining his pawn structure, uh, trading off the piece, and then we could have retreated, uh, would have been better to do there, um, that would have been the case, but that's not what happened. He gets the pawn, we capture back in the centre, he throws his queen in the centre, I don't know what his intention here was. I think maybe bring the rook over, uh, possibly, but didn't happen. So my idea here was just full out attack um, over on his king side, uh, get the pin going, and then you know throw the bishop up here, and like I say, he makes a simple move, I guess. So it would be there, another simple move, brings his rook over here, and okay, yes, it's losing for white. So it is, um, but that's a lot of pressure for him to have to deal with. So he could go take, and then, well, that shoots it back up. But it's a lot of pressure to deal with, and that's just what is trying to put on them. He captures in the center, he gets a great move for that. Uh, we obviously can't take back. Uh, yeah, it's just it's a good move. But we go ahead with our plan anyway. And he makes one blunder. Okay, why is this a blunder? This is a blunder because of you can capture the knight, 
he just has to move I don't know why the computer says to do that and we capitalize we capture the knight he makes a second blunder in a row which just okay uh, we capture that now yes could have captured with a bishop and it would have been you know probably similar but we capture with the pawn instead uh, bishop captures is better because then we don't separate our pawns we have connected pawns so you can see he then captures McQueen not a big deal yes it's the biggest attacking piece you can have but we're happy with the queen trade as we're up a bishop uh, he has two double isolated pawns right in the middle of the board we have uh, you know this big four stack versus two uh, four pawns versus two on this side and we have two isolated pawns versus three on this side so game continues he makes another blunder at three blunders in a row well not in a row apart from the queen trade but that itself is a bad move now this is where the fun begins this is the yo-yo so we give him a check defended by the rook only move he has is into the corner which is a discovered check now here i was going to capture the rook that's why i went here first i was going to capture the rook and there is a mate in two sequence here which is what is it it's Drop back, uh, rook, f6, capture, mate. That, that's what it was. But I got greedy. I just want to torture him. And we give him a check. A discovered check. He bounces back. We give him another check. He bounces back. We then snatch up the pawn with the discovered check. We give him another one. Discovered check, snatch the other pawn. And he just quit. He had enough. This just would have continued. So he goes give him another one he moves it just would have went and went and kept going the entire way um he had to move we take he takes and we're just up so much material just demolished everything that's the yo-yo technique it is brilliant um i seen it uh practiced it a wee bit on it wasn't puzzles there was another thing chess.com has um where i practiced it and i never thought i'd ever get it I did once a long time ago, but this year was well, this is most recent. It was brilliant. Um, so that was one of the games we had today. Jumping into a second one. This is an odd one. Hey, this is this is an odd odd game here. Uh, this is how puzzles come in so much handy. Uh, so we start off with the Vienna. Now this year Vienna we have played uh, one hundred and eleven times, won sixty one, drawn eight, lost forty two. That's fifty five percent win rate. So, we continue development as normal, all good. Uh, I'm not overly bothered about destroying the pawn structure here in the center, which is what he goes for. Um, we then, he brings out his queen, we immediately attack his queen. Now this is gonna be a very common thing that you see. He likes to have his queen out and he just didn't work for him. So, has his queen out, it's immediately attacked. He scoots forward trying to defend this F pawn. Uh, we then attack his queen again, defended. So he has to move his queen again, still trying to protect and hold on to that f pawn. He is now threatening uh, our g pawn. So he is a uh, possible capture of our rook. So we castle, defend it with our king. Um, he throws the pawn in the center. We hit him with a wee en passant. He Just ruining everything here. Uh, so we hit him with an en passant. Uh, he can capture back. He, you know, he has a wee, a wide range of options to do here. It would be, uh, C takes D is the best computer move, I believe. It's the best option for him, isn't it? Yes, it is. So he captures. We give him a check with our queen. Slap bang in the center of the board. He blocks it with his knight, pinning his knight to his king. Now, here. My intention was to go here and create another pin. Uh, so then we can take, and he has to, again, destroy his pawn structure, isolating an outside pawn. Uh, but I misclick. Yeah, it's my first misclick in donkeys. So it is, but we, we massively misclick. And he castles, gets his king away to safety. The best move in this position would have been to pop more pressure uh, onto his knight. Now, this is because... If we did capture, you know, uh, he can't take because of this pin. Uh, he can't make any forward progressing moves. 
Uh, so we can't, he can't go here, he can't go here, he can go here, and then we trade. Uh, so it's sideways or backwards is the direction he has to go. But that's not what he done. Um, so we go here, misclick. We then try to take the initiative back and attack this queen, get the momentum back onto our side. He's really wanting to hold on to this F pawn, like something shocking. He does not want to let it go. We attack his queen again, forcing it back. That's a blunder. Now, why is that a blunder? That is a blunder because it's a free capture of a pawn. And what's the thing about blunders? They're only blunders if you capitalize on them, and we do. We hit the great move. We had several ways to capture it. We could have captured it with the bishop. But, you know, black has the advantage here. So he does. Uh, he would have then went d5, threatening our piece because this is no longer pinned. Um, so we do. We manage to capitalize. We attack his queen again. He shoves it away in the corner. Uh, we just make a simple wee uh, improving move. My intention was to double up the rooks, get a big, uh, big cannon pointed down this air file. Uh, he then jumps his knight in, thinking he has us forked, but obviously we capture with our knight. He takes with his queen. We then double up our rooks as intended. And this, this is where it gets fun. So he brings out his bishop. We attack the bishop and get a nice fork on his pieces here, so we do. Lovely, lovely. Um, he, now this looks threatening. This looks really, really bad. Like, okay, he could take, but then he's just losing. He's losing the piece that way, so yeah, I didn't want to get scared. I obviously can't take because of the pin, but we take the initiative and we slap it on him. We take the knight. He moves his rook over, and this is where it begins. Capture with check. Now, he can capture with the queen. He then loses his queen, uh, and this is how it could have possibly ended up. Okay, very simple, not too complicated. Uh, we're just up massive amounts of material. So could have went like that. He could have. Uh, he could have just scooted away. He lost his rook, and then he takes, and you know we have. Well, that's actually that's a back rank mate. So it is that. That's how simple that is. That's a back rank mate. But it's even better than that. So we take with check. He takes with the rook. We, can you see it? Can you see it? This is why puzzles come in handy. Check, block, mate. Like, it could have also, okay, I say we didn't see the mate. Take the queen. We're just massively up on mount, like mountains on mountains of material. And we'll have a mate in five. So he has to move, he goes there, we win the bishop, and he's just hammered. Absolutely hammered. Uh, so I was I was real proud of that one. The yo-yo and then finding this it was a very simple, very simple mate, uh, but it was a good mate regardless. So it was. Now the computer suggests in this position that is the best move. So it does suggest bishop takes, king h8, uh, and then we captured the queen. That's what it suggests is best for black. To give up his, his queen. Uh, then to block here. Uh, rook captures. Rook scoots over. Queen then comes up. This, yeah. So regardless, like it was gone for him. It was dead. Dead in the water. But it, it was brilliant. And you know you get them times whenever you're playing games. You're doing brilliant. You're doing good. You take a wee break. And you come back. And you're just in the dumps. And you can't win anything. I lost 11 elo points playing against someone earlier do you know how disheartening that is it's terrible uh but anyway yeah i think we're going to try and get our blitz rating up currently we are sitting at uh i don't know if you'll be able to see it over here uh, we'll change the screen a wee bit uh it's going to look a wee bit messed up for yourself let me see here we go currently we are sitting at 627 so we dropped massively we were up there at 709 and we just dropped right, like that's a, that's a big spike i haven't had one of them in a while and currently we're at 1050 rating on uh rapid so we're doing good it's you know happy enough but i don't want my blitz rating 
being the same as my bullet rating. That's that's not good. And as you can see here, we had a couple of bad games. Uh, we had a couple of good ones. Um, it's on and off. And oh my god, we've actually lost so much more. <laughs> We've lost so much more. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. It's not nice. Uh, yeah, we've been playing a lot of Blitz games. I'm going to go back to Rapid. I'm going to then start playing uh, here over the board and recording at the same time. Uh, and see how that goes. Because it's quite a bit of pressure. And you're just going to laugh at my pain. That is it. Just laugh at the pain. And anyway, guys, it's been a quick wee video. I do appreciate it. Thank you so much. We're so close to 2,000 subscribers. Uh, which is just ridiculous. See the growth has been immense. It's been absolutely immense. And I have no one to thank but you. Uh, please slap that like button. Leave a comment. Ask me a question. Uh, leave a review on one of the games. A tactic maybe that you've seen. A move you made it, would have made at a certain time. It just helps me out. Helps get the video out there to more people that might enjoy it. And yeah. Anyway guys, thank you so much. Uh, have a good day. Bye bye.